Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. Uh, we have lesson three today, addition and subtraction of fractions. So the next three lessons are gonna be about fractions. Um, let's hop right into it. We have first seven over 12, subtract 14 over 14. And here's the key when we are adding or subtracting fractions. The denominators, they need to be the same. They're not the same here. So we are going to always be working on adding and subtracting fractions to make the denominators the same. Uh, in this case, it's a little bit special. 14 out of 14 is one, right? If you did 14 divided by 14, you'd get one. So we can actually turn this into 12 over 12 because that's the same as one. I'll show you in a bit what we need to do when we're not completely sure uh, what the lowest common uh, denominator between these two would be. But um, we are going to just turn this into 12 out of 12. So this is the same as 7 over 12 minus 12 divided by 12. So 14 over 14 is the same as 12 over 12. And then we're just going to subtract across the top and leave the bottom the same. We leave the denominator the same. So seven minus 12 is minus five. And then 12 just stays and our answer is negative five twelfths. Okay, so we make the denominators the same and then we subtract or we add across the numerator. Let's do the next one. We've got five thirds minus four fifteenths. Okay, again, the denominators are not the same, so we need to make them the same. Uh, I can turn this denominator into 15 if I multiply it by five. So if I'm gonna do that here, I need to do that at the top as well. Whatever I do to the bottom in a fraction, I need to do, the, do to the top. So we get uh, five times five is 25, divided by five times three is 15, minus four fifteenths. We now have a denominator that is the same, and I can go ahead and subtract across the numerator. Uh, that's 21 divided by 15. And don't forget to reduce. Uh, both of these can be divided by 3. Yes, divide that by 3 and divide that one by 3. That would be 7 fifths for our answer. We cannot forget to reduce. That is very, very important. So we made the denominators the same, subtracted across the numerator. Uh, and then go, went ahead and reduced our fraction. Let's do a couple more. Let's do 17 over seven minus 18 over 10. Uh, right away, I see the denominators are not the same. So let's go ahead and make them the same. And when it's kind of far away from each other or like a long ways until they have, they would be the same, the lowest common multiple. Uh, what we're going to do is multiply them by each other. So this whole thing is going to be multiplied by 10 because that's this denominator. And this one is going to be multiplied by 7. Uh, what we're, that guarantees us to have denominators that are the same so that we can go ahead and add. So uh, 170 over 70, right? 17 times 10 and then 7 times 10. And I subtract, I know 10 times seven is going to be 70. I've got to do a little extra work to find out what 18 times seven is. Um, I know that um, 20 times seven is 140. So I'm gonna subtract uh, 14 from that. So that would be 106, 106. We can go ahead and check. You could, you could do this by stacking them on top of each other. Let's see. I am prone to make mistakes every once in a while. It's 126. Wow, did I make a mistake? Let's try that again. 18 times seven is 126. Okay, I should have stacked them. Let's go ahead and do that so that I can show. I know how to do math. Eight times seven is 56. That there, seven times one is seven plus five is 126. It is 126, okay. So that's what we have. Sometimes you need to go back and check your work, and that's not a problem. Uh, 170 minus 126. Let's stack those to make sure I don't mess this up again. 10, three. A 
would be 34. So our answer ends up being 34 out of 70. Uh, they're both even, so I know I can go ahead and divide them both by 2 to reduce. So that would be 34 divided by 2 is 17 out of 35. Okay, Quite a few steps. Um, but making sure that you get the right answer by doing this, I guess, is very important, even if you feel like you know what you're doing. No problem. Let's do three more. We're going to do them quickly. Might not get to them all. 15 out of 12 minus 7 over 6. I'm going to multiply both of these on this side by 2. And I'm going to get 15 out of 12 minus 14 out of 12. Uh, 15 minus 14 is 1, so that's 1 twelfth, and that is already reduced as much as it can. Okay, let's see. We have, okay, this one's going to, I'm going to skip 3B. I'm going to let you do it, and, it, you know, you get here. You remind me to do it on the board, okay? I will do it. You just have to remind me. 3B on page 17 of the booklet. Let's go on to 3C. Uh, that one is going to be more straightforward and time efficient. 20 divided by 3 plus 2 over 4. Let's go ahead and say, uh, well, I know what the lowest common um, multiple is of these two. It would be 12. So we're going to multiply this side by 4 and this side by 3. So we're going to get 80. 4 times 20 is 80 over 12 plus 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. 80 plus 6 is 86. Oh my. I'm going to go ahead and reduce. I know I can. I'm going to divide them both by 2. They're even. That would leave us 43 over 6. And that is as low as we can go. You could go ahead and uh, long divide it if you wanted to get a decimal, but not necessary and we're working specifically with fractions. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you soon.